Hi guys. Hi. Good evening. How's your day today? Um Good evening, my teacher. Case, teacher. Um I was uh, with the doctor. The doctor told me that I need to rest for three days. <laughs> oh, so you got a medical leave? Uh, medical, um, um, uh, Allegra, uh, Tylenol. Um, oh, no, I'm saying a medical leave is when they give you permission uh, not to. Ah, a medical, yes, I, I have that right. Yes. Hi, William. Miss Anna, Hi, Daisy. teacher. How are you? Doing great. What about yourself? Hi, teacher. Uh, Hi. Hello. A busy day. <laughs> oh, I imagine. <laughs> we all have busy, <laughs> crazy days. I guess that's the reason why online works for us, right? Yes. Because it's more convenient and practical at some point. Why can I see you? Is your camera okay? In my case? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, Mr. Gutierrez, <laughs> what were you saying? My camera, I configure my, I am configuring my camera. Uh, you're... Wait a minute. All right, great. Let me share the screen with you. Mm -hmm. And we're going to pick up where we left off last night, all right? We will not practice making requests anymore because there are other topics that are a little bit more complex, all right? And we should focus on those instead. If, for example, tonight we'll be working with gerunds and infinitives, okay? But to go on, we're going to work on this section. So everybody should be on the platform on section 1.11, all right? Are you there? Yes, teacher. And what we're going to do, you know, right? In pairs, I want you to take turns to read one paragraph, then the next person and so on. Okay. Uh, check for new vocabulary and pronunciation after you have finished, share with me and answer the questions in pairs. All right. Is that clear? It's clear. Yes. All right. Let's work in pairs. One second. I'm going to move some of you. So if I send you the invitation twice, accept it twice, please. Here, here we go. Or hold on, I'm gonna do it now. Two, five. Give me one second. Move to four. No, two, two. One second, move to one. There you go. Accept the invitation, please. They was they excellent. Okay. Today was an excellent day. Okay. Was a, an excellent day. Okay, thank you. For Maurita, dame un minuto. Okay. Ah, aquí está. Ah, enlace. Listen to the teacher. What's going to yes. do? Yes, I know. I don't know what happened here. But this is a, a, a little group for make a, a yes. practice. But I don't I'm here. Practice. Teacher. Okay. Yes. Excuse me. Uh -huh. <laughs> I woke up because I went to bring to my class. Uh, okay. No, you, you do? stood up to pick up your glasses. Pick up my glasses. I thought you were taking a nap when you said that. <laughs> Okay. Because <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I do that. Sometimes I take a nap because it's 11 p.m. here. So sometimes okay. I take a nap before class. I thought that that's what you were saying. Anyway, you're supposed to be on the platform right now. Section 1.11. Are you there? No. no. I can see it in the shot. 
No, no, no. You are supposed to be on the platform. And you too, Miss Daisy. Ah, in, in, in the Google, in the platform? Yes. Okay. Section 1.11. There is a reading exercise. Ah, Miss Daisy, it is your first class. Yes. Oh, okay. Class. Oh, oh okay. welcome. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You're going to get used to it. So, okay. Miss Daisy, do the, you have access place. to the platform? Excuse me? Do you have access to the platform? Oh, yes. Okay, are you on section 1.11? On YouTube. No, 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 on the platform, eh, English Corporativo platform. Oh, I don't know. Mm. Okay, you haven't checked the email because you're supposed to have access to your platform to work on it. That's the most important thing. Yes, excuse me. Let me see. Okay. And you were given a password? Yes. Mm -hmm. You haven't tried accessing? Okay. okay. Meanwhile, while you try to figure it out, so do you have it, Mr. William? I have it. All right. Can you share the screen so that Daisy can see? And what you're going to do is take turns reading the the article i think it's an article okay. reading it you read one paragraph how i, how I shared how i shared the screen with with daisy what are you using your computer a computer uh-huh so there is an option there that says share or compartir i'm not sure it's green uh, share and screen mm -hmm. Ideally, she should have her platform open as well, so you can both see and you don't okay. need to share. I need the platform, but um, discussion, progress. Mm -hmm. No, no, not on the platform. The option to I'm not in the platform. Okay. okay. I will take a picture and send by the WhatsApp group. Okay. Okay. You can okay. Yes, but okay. Miss Daisy, after class or right now, try to access the platform because you have to access it every day. Okay. And okay wait a minute, Daisy. Yeah, take turns reading. Once you finish reading, uh, answer the questions. All right. I'm going to check on the other guys. Okay. Is this ever happened to you? If so, you may ask yourself, who are these people? Why are they doing this? things to me no. these days many people of the use it may be best to just stay out of your neighbor's ways to just Recent stay miss carolina remember to connect the sound especially with this right to just stay to just stay yes mm -hmm. perfect that sounds better out of your neighbor's way Resentment, um, a way of behaving, behaving, anger that behaving, grows, behaving, mm -hmm. anger that grows anger. over the, anger, that, anger, 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 yeah. anger that grows over time, and uh, uh. and you. What is, what is the question? Number two, number three, number four? Resentment. Resentment. Yeah. Ah, resentment. Resentimiento. Resentimiento. Yeah. Resentment. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes, this is the... The, the answer, the it, answer, the answer is, is number two. Really? Yes. Anger that Anger grown. that grows. Over time. Over time. Sorry, oh. that's anger. Anger, anger. comes. Uh, anger. anger. No, anger is the noun, and angry is the adjective. So it comes from from that. I I was a study today, and number two. 
Well, yeah, yeah, that's the answer. All right, hold on. Okay. Number two, delivery. Deliberately. Deliberately. Hi, are you there? Ms. Berganza? Hi, yes. Hi, is this your first class? No, it's the second one. The second one, okay. Everybody is working on a reading. So I'm going to assign you to a group, but we almost finish, all right? Anyway, accept it and, and see what they're doing. We're working on section 1.11 on the platform. Okay. All right, hold on. Accept the invitation, please. Did you guys figure it out? Yes. I am waiting, Daisy. Okay, Roxana is here as well. Good evening. Hi, good, good evening. evening, Roxana. We almost Hi, finished. Hi, Roxana, we're working on section 1.11 on the platform. All right. Yes. So try to answer the questions. There's no more time to read, guys. So try to answer the questions. We're gonna go back okay. in one minute. Sorry, teacher. No, it's okay. It's not. It's not okay. your. <laughs> it's okay. okay. Rules time and probably more difficult or something. I think. Uh, number one. A way of behaving. A way of behave, behaving. Behave, behaving. A way of behaving. Mm. Hi, Selena. Hi. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. All right. Uh, some of you already finished. So we're going to work on the answers together. All right. Make sure that before you enter the class, you have the platform ready so that we don't waste time okay so we're going to work on the questions do you have questions about the pronunciation that's number two number two what about that how do the pronunciation what is the pronunciation of, of yes. this deliberately deliberately yeah you don't pronounce this so it's deliberate and deliberately Deliberately, deliberately. Yes, there it is. Um, I also noticed that you had difficulties pronouncing this, for example. What's the pronunciation of this, guys? Behaving. behaving. No, it's behaving. 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 Yes, what is behaving. the meaning in English? The meaning is, I guess. Forma comportar, comportarse. Right in English though, so it's the way you act, right? Very good. What is the pronunciation of this? A step the one I'm pointing at. In order to achieve, achieve, achieve something. Achieve. achieve something. Achieve. All right, and what is the pronunciation of, hold on, this, this first word? Anger. Uh -huh. You know what? It's a combination of, it's a combination of a, uh, like it's not a uh, and it's not a, eh, okay? It's a combination of both. So it's like anger. 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 It's not a uh, and it's anger. not a, eh. it's both. Anger. Anger. Perfect. That sounds better. All right. Let's finish the exercise. So number one, what do you have, Franklin? Franklin. Teacher, uh, I have a problem with my computer. I'm connected with my cell phone and oh. don't do the paragraph. Okay, okay. Uh, Miss Ana Giron, do you have the answer? You're muted, by the way. <coughs> Number two, teacher. Number two, okay. So uh, read it for me, please. Mauricio, 
Guys, if I ask you a question, remember that your microphone is muted, so unmute it when you want to speak, because I, I think Miss Anna was trying to speak, but she didn't unmute the microphone. All right, number one, read it, Mauricio. Number one. Number one, mm -hmm. resentment. Okay. Uh, number two, anger that grows over time. This is a pronunciation, anger. Anger, anger. anger. Thank you, teacher. You're Anger, welcome. thank you, teacher. Okay, next. Uh, Guadalupe. Delivery. In this case, is number two, teacher. Yes. Read them. So deliberately okay. say this. Deliver, deliver, deliver. Let it. No, deliver. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna help you. Okay, say break it, all right? Say deliberate. Deliberate. Deliberately. Deliberate. Deliberate. And then Lee. Deliberately. Deliberately. Hold on, I'm gonna help you. Lead on on purpose. Purpose. On purpose. Okay, one second. Hold on. Purpose. Purpose. So guys, let's read this word. Is answer correct? It is a correct answer. Look at this, guys. So if I told you last time, right? If you have issues uh, pronouncing something, break it. Break it. Okay, like this. Look. So pronounce it with me. Let's do it into syllables. Okay. Deli. 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 Ver, right? Ver, so say the liver, 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 the the <laughs> okay, practice it later. But yes, deliberately. This is mute. Deliberately. 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 No, deliberately. Deliberately. That sounds better. <laughs> Difficult. <laughs> so you're saying that it is. And we are the champion. The answer is on, on purpose. On purpose. On purpose. On purpose. Very good. Next. Number three. Mr. Williams. Irritate. Bother or annoy. Irritate. Yes, he's correct. Guys, is this correct? Isn't it irritate? Irritate. No? Irritate. I don't know. What is what is the, the, the answer you get? Number six, bother or annoy. Bother or annoy. Yes, guys, this is incorrect. This is irritate. There irritate. should be a T here, yes. Like this, irritate. Irritate. What is, what, what is correct? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> We're going to find out. Irritate. This. Irritate. 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 Yes. Irritate. Right, what, is, what is it? Yes, answer is number six. Bother or annoy. Bother or annoy. Yes. That's the one. Number four. Carolina. Carolina, where did you go? You're muted. Uh -huh. Yes. Sorry, teacher. The answer is uh, number four, a uh, step taken in order to achieve something. Yes, guys, this is measure. Repeat, measure. 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 So measure. So measure. No, sure, no. Hey, <laughs> guys, it's measure. 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 Yes, that's measure. better. Measure. Perfect. Measure. All right, next, Fernando, number five. Number five. Manner, number one, I think, a way of behaving. Yes. Uh-huh, great. Fernando, where have you been? 
Uh, I have been in, in traffic <laughs> in many places. <laughs> oh, really? Well, good yes. thing you were able to join. Yes, Miss thank you. Roxana, number six. In a problem or difficult, difficulty. Difficulty. Okay, try it, try it. Let's see. Is everything right? Yes, we did a great job. Great. <laughs> now, uh, we're going to learn about gerunds and infinitives. What are the gerunds, guys? The ones that are conjugated in what way? What's a gerund? A gerund. Mm -hmm. Read the objective. When you are I am. Yes, uh, perfect. When you add ing. Okay, read the objective, William. Excuse me? Read the objective, please. Okay. In this class, you will practice using infinitives and gerunds for, use, for uses and purposes. For uses. Yes, you guys have to purpose. pay attention to the intonation. Pur purposes. Purposes. Uh, purposes. purposes. The stress goes in the first syllable. No, purposes. Purposes. Yes. Very good. Let's watch the video. Okay, everybody mute the microphone. Let me share. Pay attention, please. to form simple present statements using regular words. Let's get started by practicing the statements that you see on the screen. I walk to school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't. Guys, this is not the video. <laughs> Sorry, that's the <laughs> this Carolina is having fun. <laughs> Sorry, that has nothing to do. That's for the other group. Uh, let me put it somewhere else. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Here it is. I was like work, walk to school. That sounds basic. Hi, welcome. Join us in this new section. We're about to explain that we can describe how something is used by either an infinitive or a gerund. Notice the meaning is the same. Pay attention and stay with us. Infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes. Infinitives. I use my computer to send emails. Computers are often used to pay bills. Gerunds. I use my computer for sending emails. Computers are often used for paying bills. As said in our intro video, we will study infinitives and gerunds to express use and purposes. Keep in mind the meaning doesn't change. What changes is the structure. So let's go over the explanation on the difference between the two forms. With an infinitive, we must use to plus verb. Example. I use my cell phone to call my friends. To call my friends is the purpose. With a gerund, we must use for plus verb plus ing. Example, I use my cell phone for calling my friends. For calling my friends is the purpose. Notice on both examples, the purpose or use is the same. It is also important for you to notice when using infinitives, we must use the particle to before the verb. And when we use gerunds, we use the word for. You can't say, I use my computer to sending emails, nor I use my computer for send emails. Okay, so we're going to use two ways, all right? What are the two ways, guys? We can use either two or four. 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 Two or four. Okay, so if I decide to use two, what am I going to use? Gerund or infinitive? Infinitive. 
infinity. So the verb in the base form, right? And if I decide to use four, what am I going to use? Gerund. Gerund. Gerund, meaning I-N-G, okay? There is a very general rule, and this is going to be helpful for you in the future when you study advanced. And the general rule is that after a preposition, okay, four is a preposition. After a preposition, you always, always use a gerund, okay? If it is a verb, of course. So this is a general rule, and you will have to apply it in many things, okay? Anyway, are they different in meaning? Is there a variation in them, between them? Yes or no? No? Okay, I will take that as a no because I didn't hear anybody. <laughs> Is there a variation in meaning if I decide to use two or four, guys? Yes, no. No, no. No, trouble. okay, no there difference. No Very good. Now, in the examples that you watched, there were two structures being used, which is passive and active voice, all right? You don't need to know much about it. We're just going to say that I use la, 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 okay, for la, 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 okay, or two. This is the general structure. Pay attention because we're about to practice. So this is the last explanation. So two. This is basically a structure, okay? Or it, such object is used, okay, for or to such and such, okay? So you have two ways of saying it. This is active, all right? And the second one is passive, okay? Then the verb here is going to be either either in infinitive meaning base form or a gerund, okay? Depending on whether you decide to use four or two. Is that clear or is it more confusing? Oh, it's I confusing. think it's confusing. Really? Let me see, yes, because the thing is... When, is, when do you use two, uh, one or two form? What do you mean? When do you use this one and or when do you use this one? Yes. Um, there's no difference. But this one pays special emphasis in the object, not the subject. The problem is, guys, that this is another topic. All right. I'm going to give you some examples and hopefully that will make it easier. But if you can pay attention to this structure because that's about it this is what we're going to practice all right and you know that here it's going to be ing or base form all right that's about it you can use either or let's do one example with i use okay i use my i use my umbrella <coughs> okay I'm, I'm doing example number one all right I'm, i use my umbrella Four or two, or either or, what do you think? Or two, two, it, it can be either or, it doesn't matter, okay? We're gonna choose four. Mm -hmm. I use my umbrella for what? For raining. No, for, no, cause you oh. know what? That is okay. For rain. For covering. Uh -huh, that's for okay. Covering. Although what I want here, it is okay, but what I want is a verb. That's a problem, okay? Raining. That I need the a verb, not yeah. a noun. So I use my umbrella for protecting. Yes. Protecting. Yes. Put a verb, I not know. a noun, okay? For protecting, protecting myself from the rain, okay? For the rain. The same yes. thing would be to say uh, umbrellas are used for protecting yourself <coughs> against or from the rain. Is that clear? I just changed the order of it. Aquí es el objeto. Uh -huh. The very use is umbrella. Aquí yo uso la umbrella. Aquí es pasivo y Exactly. Mm -hmm. 
this is active and this is passive because I start with the object and here I start with the subject and that is not explained in the video and I know that it may be confusing, but this second part is easy. All right, because you only decide the verb or the verb use is, is in pass in pass in cycle. Yes, señor, sí que arruina todo. Okay, so for example, um, number two, we're gonna do an example of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it says we're gonna do an example with a bottle, mm -hmm. right? So let's say I. Use, I use what, guys? Guys, mute the microphone. I hear dog, dogs barking. All right. So number two, we're going to practice this part, okay? So I use... Glass and a bottle, bottle. I use my bottle. Uh -huh. bottle for drink, drinking. Uh-huh, for, for drinking. drinking. Uh -huh. uh, Water. Water. Guys, the microphone drinking. for drinking water. Water. Okay. I, when, I have, when I have thirsty. <laughs> when I am thirsty. When, I'm, when, when, I have I have thirsty. thirsty. when I'm thirsty. Okay. The same thing would be to say a uh, bottles Bottle. are used, are used to, to drink, drink, drink water. 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 Or I have another possibility. Bottles are used for drinking water. Okay. Is it okay. better now? Sí. Mm, yes. 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 Are better. They're better. Okay. And I will give you the other option. I use my bottle to drink. Look, you have four possibilities. I think one day we're going to study the passive voice. I hope I'm the one that explains that, but if not, I hope you understand it. It's, it's basically changing the order, all right, of the object and the subject, that's it. Are you ready to practice or you do you need one more example? What do you think? In the, in the first form, the subjects realize the action. In the second form, the object is the action exactly the object becomes the subject that's right they perform the action you're right very good thank you <laughs> the, okay the are you better, ready uh -huh. the better in past simple actually the, the verb the verb is in the pa in the past participle but don't okay. pay attention to that right now let's focus on talking about purpose using four or two, all right? Let's not worry uh -huh. about passive voice right now. We're gonna worry about that later, okay? So, uh, take a picture of this, a screenshot, something, and we have to practice right now. So, here are the, I'll send a picture, hold on. I think somebody sent it. There it is. So I want you to practice in groups of three, making sentences, talking about these items. All right. For example, oh, and you know what? I want you to think of as many uses as possible. For example, your hands. How many things can you think about doing with your hands? I use my hands for clapping, right? Hands are for used writing. for miming, for writing, writing. Uh -huh. for, writing, I for cooking. My, I use my hands for writing, for cooking, or put it in the passive voice. My hands or hands are used for used typing, for, right? For taking. For taking things that belong to you, <laughs> not that don't belong to you, <laughs> and so on. So think of as many uses as possible. Is that clear? Yeah. And share the sentences, okay? Accept the invitation. We're gonna make groups. Okay. Three. Oh, take a. I will send you a picture of the of the list. Hold on. Okay. Accept it, please.
use I use bottles for 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 drinking, drinking. some water. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Bottles uh, are used to are used transport. I are used for transport. Uh, for liquid transporting or to transport Trans to transporting no 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 don't combine it if you decide to use two okay, it has to okay, be okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're mixing it up bottles are used to transport water yes i wouldn't say transport it but yes i would say to carry water. carry carry water okay mm -hmm. great Okay. Mm, yes, mirrors are using mirror. for washing washing yourself. Okay, mirrors are used. Are used. That, that's a T used. Are used for, for washing yourself. Also. Maybe. You know what is the difference between see and watch? What? It's for TV. It's when you get a long time to watch uh, or to see something. For example, uh -huh. TV, computer. That's and a good conclusion. All the watch is when you watch something with movement. So I would say watch me play, watch me dance, watch the movie because there is movement. And this, when you watch the movie? That's not moving. Mm, okay. So in this case, you need to say to see yourself in the mirror. Sometimes you watch yourself. If you decide to dance in front of the mirror, you watch yourself. <laughs> but it's in general, you use it to see. Okay. See yourself. Okay. Go and on. the passive mirror are used for combing. Mm -hmm. Number one. The next word is your hands. Entonces, yo puedo decir, I use my hands, las dos manos, ¿para qué? For cooking, for cooking dinner, for example. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Are you for teaching someone? Cooking di dinner, al revés sería, um, sería, my hands, my hands, my hands, or is used no plural r r r e r for cooking dinner o to cook dinner si le usamos yeah. el to el verbo va en presente verdad en en base form ajá uh -huh. uh -huh. for base infinitive form. Mm -hmm. base form I all the possibilities it. huh very good great job thank you teacher um, ahora, table. Ah, ese es fácil, mire. Are you for working? <laughs> yes. For working. In my work. <laughs> Do you use okay. a table or a desk to work? Laptop. laptop. We are talking about laptop. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the passive forms. Laptop and passive form. The laptop La are used just in for that work. case. Sorry, since it is a general thing, if you're gonna say laptops are used, not the laptops, just in general. Just laptop. Laptops. Laptop. Laptops okay. are used. Laptops are used. In, in plural. Uh -huh, in plural because it's mm. a general thing. Okay. Mm. Okay. Laptops are used to work in the office. From the rain. For the bottle, I use my bottle to drink water. To drink is infinity. Drinking, drinking. Drinking is the Jerome. Because I use yeah. my bottle for drinking water when I'm thirsty. Yes. Yes. 
Or what's the other one? A mirror are used No, for... para a mirror is singular. So if you want to say are used, you need to say mirrors are used. Mirrors are used for seeing for face. The yeah. face. Mm -hmm. The face. I use... I use my laptop. No. Second form. Laptop are are is. But are, let, let her try. Oh. Let her try. Yes. Uh, la, laptops are used for typing your homework. Okay. Perfect. Next. Uh, micro microphone. Back. Back. Not necessarily. Bags can be supermarket. What? Not necessarily. Bags can be a plastic bag. They can be the bag you use every day. Um, not only maletas, because that's baggage, actually. Uh, entonces, el bag es como un recipiente. No. Bag es bolsa y bolso, both. Que, que be... Ah, como cartera. Cartera. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. Okay. And also a plastic bag is a bag, you know, or a paper bag. Uh, I use my bag for many makeup. I use my hand for cooking. Use I... my hands for touching. <laughs> I use my for hands touching. for writing. Touching, don't pronounce the U. Touching. Touching, don't pronounce U. I use my hands for for taking a shower. Entonces, the bag, I use it for wearing many things: makeup, eh, cash, uh, perfume, uh, etc. Um, table, bag. Si terminamos, creo. Boxes, caja, verdad? Your hands, también. Plastic. We're back. How was it? Easy, medium, difficult? Medium. Like easy, intermediate, or difficult, I would say. That's better. All right. Uh, give me some examples. We need to practice. You need more practice. Okay. We yes. can do that tomorrow. <laughs> All right. And in case I forget, which I don't think, remind me, please. Anyway, uh, volunteer, give me an example with boxes. Boxes are used. Are used use to a storage mm. many clothes. No, storage is not a verb. Storage is mm. a noun. To store. Keep. To, to store is okay, but it's not storage. Are you okay? Boxes are used for protecting some things. Yes, or are used to store. This is the verb. Storage is a noun. Search is almacenamiento. Yeah, it is. Okay, okay, thank you. All right, great. Another example, Fernando? Um, I use, I use boxes to... Oh, with a different one. Oh, with a different, okay. Yeah, yeah, three or four. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I use a, a mirror for brushing my teeth. Let me see. I a mirror for brushing my teeth. Perfect. Teacher, uh, can I say brush my hair? No. Yes, for brushing my teeth or my hair. Yep, both. Teeth, hair. Great. Next, Veronica. One example. I use my laptop uh, for working. Or let's make it general. How would you say this in the passive voice? Laptops? Laptops are used uh, to work. Guys, the pronunciation of this is used. Okay, used. used. So With laptops the... are used <coughs> to? Teacher, with the at the end. No, but the pronunciation is like this, used. The okay. spelling is with D, like this. All of the regular okay. verbs are spelled with ED at the end. So laptops are used. Laptops are used to work. Perfect. Very good. Good job. Okay, let's do an exercise and with that we'll finish. All right, help me out. Mm -hmm. Number one, Roxana. Uh, number two, number one. Uh, yes, is uh, two options to study the words water. You think it's the first one, or the second one? Oh, the first one. First one. The first one. Okay. This is impossible, yes. right? Because we're using infinitive and gerund. Mm -hmm. You cannot combine number, them. Number number one. Okay, guys, please read the complete statement. So say satellites are used to study the world's weather. So Towards read the water. complete statement, please. Perfect. Satellites are used to study the world weather. World's weather. Great. Gabriela Santos, number two, read the complete statement, please. Number three. Gabriela Santos, you're muted. Robots are sometimes used. Sometimes used. Pronounce this. Sometimes S. used. Con con connected. Sometimes used. You're not pronouncing this S. Say it again. To perform dangerous tasks. Okay, read the sentence again. Robots are sometimes used. To per for perform dangerous task. The, this one. For performance. For perform, mm -hmm. yes, the first one. Deco. Is that correct, guys? No. 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 Number, three. Deco. Number three. Number three. Number three. This combination is not possible, three. right? So let me three. Let me clear that out hold on so with four you have to use a gerund okay and with two you have to use the base form yes, combinations of those are not possible four gerund two base form yeah all right next daisy number three number three you can use a star form to send text Message. Great. Mauricio. Number four. Mm -hmm. People use the in the Lita. internet uh, for making travel reservation number one. Okay. Franklin, number five. DNA. Fingerprinting is used um, to identify criminals. Mm -hmm. To identify? Identify <laughs> criminals. Yeah. Identify. Perfect. And finally, number six is Carolina. Either rooms are used um, for storing an encyclopedia. 
an encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. CD ROM. For storing. Number three. Three. For okay. storing. Let's see. Yes, we got everything right. So don't forget. <laughs> Good job. Don't forget four with adjourned. This is going to be the general rule, okay? And two with the base form. Okay, actually, an infinitive is the base form, right? With two or sometimes without. Any questions? You need no. more practice Question. tomorrow? Thank you. Can you send the page, please, for WhatsApp? Sure, I will do that. Okay, I will Thank see you, you again tomorrow. Thank you very much for joining us, okay. guys. It was a pleasure seeing you. And Thank have a beautiful you, night. Okay, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.